Hi everyone, this is Matt from Divi Framework and today I'm going to show you a little bit about styling breadcrumbs. Now quite often when we install a breadcrumb tool, there's a couple of little nuances that we need to know about. So here we have a contact page for a website called Think Digital. And the breadcrumb just shows the end of the breadcrumb, contact, not the starting point. And it's not that it's not there, it's because the highlight color, or the link color in this case, is the same as the background color that I've got on the web page. Okay, so what I need to do is edit that with some custom CSS. So what are we trying to achieve? Well, we want it to look more like this here. This is another website uh, that the customer has called Think Digital Coach. And this one, as you can see, looks a little bit different. It's got a slash in between and a few different things. So we're aiming more for this look. So the first thing we need to do is edit the Yoast SEO settings to be able to change the two arrows there to a slash. So to do that, we go to the theme customizer. And once we've opened up the theme customizer, we can go to the Yoast SEO breadcrumbs area. And this allows us to do things like change the breadcrumb separator. So that's the item that I'm after. So I'm gonna change that to a forward slash to match the styling of the other site and click save and publish. So that's that part of the styling done. The next thing we need to do is get some CSS into my page to be able to deal with the background and all this sort of thing so that we can get it like this. So we can see that font slightly bolder and we have a background color around it. So we're gonna aim for that and I've written a little snippet in gist that I've embedded a link to further down the page. And you can see that first of all, what I've done is set up a breadcrumb span and a span A and that's for the breadcrumbs area to have its color and font weight changed. We wanna always make sure that the font is white. Second, we have the first child item, and this is because the overall breadcrumb area is wrapped in a span tag, but we only want the first one really, and we wanna put a background color on that, which I've selected to suit this particular website. You would wanna change that to suit your requirements. And then there's a padding as well to put a bit more padding around the item. So I can just copy this straight up. Now, if you want to be able to use this snippet, you can just change the color of the font in the background and get quite a nice effect quite quickly. So where do I paste that? Well, we're going to Divi into the theme options area and I'm on the general area. And what I want to do is just paste it into the custom CSS section. Just like that, click save changes. And now when I go back to my page and refresh it, we can see that I've got the desired effect and that's it. 